Can't you can't film, film in okay. here. No, You're no, not allowed no, to film no, over no, the no, counter. Okay, so. I recognize the voice. Truth, whole truth, and nothing but truth. So I'll be glad to compound to your program. Yes, I will. Thank you. My name is Lazio Tinker, Deputy Corporation Counsel Dan Bernie. Thank you. Back in session, Judge Stingle presiding. Happy New Year. Good to see you today, everyone. Everything's all set. Okay, so this is day two of the State versus Reyes. Um, a little better shape today than we were yesterday in terms of being able to get this started on time. Uh, so, with that being said, we're going to continue where we left off yesterday. Uh, I uh, some of your witnesses here can pick up where he left off and he's still in the And then uh, he is present, Your Honor, yes. I have him take the stand. For scheduling purposes, uh, I'll defer to counsel's needs, but I'm thinking until 4.30. No, 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 no later than, Sorry, Your Honor. No later than 4.30. That's fine. That's fine, Judge. Thank you very much. Okay, and, and look, if there's something as we go, you have to get out of here. You have something you all you know, just let me and, and, and we'll do what we can do. Uh, if it comes in the next two minutes, you're already as you said. <laughs> Maybe Tracy, you're not going to let that one go. So, so uh, with that being said, we will uh, pick up where we left off. You're ready to go, Madam Recorder? Did counsel identify themselves? Yes. Judge, with respect to the witnesses that are in the courtroom right now, um, I don't really have a great objection to if they've seen the video already, but to the extent that the officer has Are you making an oral motion for yes. sequestration? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. I'll, I'll join in the motion, provided it's reciprocal and that the the council is going to call any defense witnesses. But they also may not be present uh, during the testimony of uh, any witness, and that they do not discuss their no, testimony. No objection to that. I don't have objection. No. Nothing. Okay. So, so uh, Attorney Seeger is making a motion for sequestration. There had been none until right now. Essentially, the motion is for uh, to have any witnesses who are going to be testifying in this case remove themselves from the courtroom until they're called. Also. Uh, if you are going to be uh, expelled as a witness in the case, you should not test. You should not compare notes any testimony. We're talking about what you're going to say uh, to other witnesses who will be testifying as well, and that goes uh, at the request of Attorney Zentner for any witnesses that uh, counsel, Attorney Seeger, uh, and some counsel attend to call. Attend to call. Yes, sir. Okay. Obviously, it doesn't apply to Mr. Reyes uh, at all. Your attorney <coughs> office, just to remind our witnesses about the attorney office, just reminding our witnesses about the sequestration. Yes. yes. I have to take them to another room, Your Honor. I'll be back. Understood. Um, is the attorney Zenner checked out on anything? I, 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 I can, I can, I have enough to know how to play it. <laughs> they grew up with the technology, but I'm very, very slowly learning it. Very good. Okay, so, uh, counsel, could you identify yourselves for the purposes of our court reporter if she is new here today? Yes, Not the ability, but for this court. Uh, Attorney Steven Seeger for the uh, defendant, Mr. Reyes, and that's uh, Stephan, S-T-E-P-H-A-N. And uh, Igor Cooperman for Mr. Reyes. That's K-P-E-R-M-A-N? Correct, Your Honor, and I already provided the court reporter with the spelling. I, I don't know why. Uh, okay, so with, with that being said, uh, Sergeant, you are still under oath. Uh, we're going to resume your direct examination testimony from yesterday. Yeah, proceed, Your Honor. Attorney Zen. Okay, uh, Attorney, uh, Sergeant Yacobellis, I'm going to now play where I think we left off yesterday before we broke for the evening. Okay? If you could just focus on the, uh, the big screen TV to your left. How are you doing today, Sergeant? So, basically, I'm, I'm here on official business. I'm here to uh, serve the town clerks with a notice of intent to sue. Um, the problem I'm having is... Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, let's stop it there at the 808 mark for the record. Uh, Sergeant Jack Nelson, who is the 
Uh, there appears to be a police officer on the right of the screen. Who is that? Uh, that's now Detective Sergeant Stephen Castrovinci, <coughs> and he was a patrol sergeant. Okay. And again, just for the record, he is employed with the Danbury Police Department. Correct. Thank you. I actually just left your PD and I was just speaking to a sergeant with a really long name that I definitely forgot. But, um, so basically I'm here to serve a uh, notice of intent to sue. I'm the town clerk of Waterbury. Uh, official business here. I mean, sorry. I keep getting confused. Danbury. The Danbury town clerk, uh, Janice, Janice I, uh, R. Geigler. That's who I'm here to, I'm just letting you know. So, so basically this gentleman, the security guard said that Unless I surrender my Fourth Amendment right of giving him my name, unless I give him my name, this is a public building. So unless I give him my name, I don't have access to this public building. You cannot permit me from entering a public building just because I won't give you my name. Guaranteed. So, you know, I do this all the time. I don't want to hem you guys up. I'm not trying to be an asshole. You know, he told me to turn off my camera. Again, I have a right, I have a right to film in public buildings. So all I'm asking, I would, this would have been done. I would have just went upstairs. My name is on here, and and your officers seem to seem to have a good inkling of what my name is. So yeah, yeah, you could use that. So you know, it's just it it, it seems like kind of petty. The only the only thing I will tell you is I don't know if I mean they're handing out like these visitors. Yeah, they can hand me that. That's fine. Maybe he's got to put your name on it. Yeah, no, he doesn't have to put my name on the pass. They want my name for like a logbook. Can I just see your visitor pass? I thought that was her name. No, no. So, okay. so like I said, I'm why just, wouldn't he give you a visitor pass? Did you say? No, he did. But then oh. when I were, he did give me one. But then when I, he said, "What's your name?" And when I said, "Hey, listen, it's it's not about it's just the principle of it. This is what I do. I'm a constitutional activist. Okay. okay. So you know, it's not about trying to be an asshole. My name is on all these documents. I'm about to say, you know what I mean? So uh, did you hand in those documents? I'm trying to go to the town clerk to hand them in, and so I can get out of here. That's all I'm trying to do. And I'm being denied. Again, I'm gonna have to write another one of these up if you guys prevent me from going upstairs because now I'm trying to just. Handle business in a public. This is I don't a city know hall. what their protocol is here. Can I find that out before I? Yeah. Do it? They well, may I, have... No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, pro I understand, and I and I hope no, you no, do no, get I'm their protocol. No, no. I'm just saying, if I, if they say that you have to give the name to him, then what do we do? So because what happens is, but that's that... the, but that's not us. That's this building. Exactly. But, it's not a public library no, but, like you were in yesterday. Yes, it's exactly. Different. It's a different type of public place. No, but it's still public. No, so, I understand. And it's that. open to the public. I know that, but I'm saying maybe this is since this is city hall. Well, you know what I would do, Sarge? You know what I really I don't know. But, no, but, but you know what I really do? So the way I explain to the other officers is constitution, laws, well, statutes, maybe and then I'll policies, right? Up there. How's that? No, and then wait, just just so you just so I, I, I think this would solve everything and I explain this to your officers. So there's a corporate councils here, right? I'm actually going to be serving them a copy too. Yeah, I don't so, know here now. Well, but. Yeah, but what? Or maybe they have a paralegal in there. I don't yeah. know. But maybe if you give them, a, those are the people that are going to be representing Danbury okay. in lawsuits, and they know the law. So it would be wise if you guys said, "Hey, you know, this guy's over here saying that he doesn't have to give his name to to conduct business in in City Hall. Should we let him up? And then you know oh, that way. Find out. Yeah, exactly. But find out from a lawyer who knows well, what I'll they're talking talk about. To whoever I have to talk to. Yeah, I'm just saying that it, it probably should be the lawyer because I'm sure that they're well, going to be smart enough to here, do that. Now, if you want to just hang out, I'll be right back. I'm yeah, I mean, that's, I talk that's fine. I yeah, I, talk I know. But again, it, I was trespassed from the, 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 Which, the library yesterday. Again, uh, that's... I understand. That was a... Exactly. And I talked to a lieutenant yesterday. He was like, I'm glad they didn't arrest you. You know, because this is what I, <laughs> no, I'm just saying this is, this is, this right. is what I do. I know and, what you do. They, we were, I don't, I mean, I don't know why you're in Danbury, but yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm just visiting. Because you're a New York resident, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You guys know everything about me. So I don't know why I can't just go upstairs. I mean, the first thing I'm dealing with you, but no, let, yeah. me go, let me take a walk up there and I'll, I'll figure Great, out. great, great. Great. They, they, they seem to know who I am already, obviously, because what they did to me, uh, how they violated my rights yesterday at the public library. So I really don't see the issue here. For, for, for what purpose? Until we get everything situated, just stay out here with us. Am I being detained? No, I just want you to stay out here with us. Okay. Until we figure out what's going on and everything's settled, we're done. And then we can figure yeah, I'm, out. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking at these signs over here. That's all, man. That's all I'm doing. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good. Are, are you Janice? I am. Janice Gagler. Hi, can you, um, I'm here just to serve with this notice, notice of intent to sue. So, and this is a, a complaint, this is the uh, a statement that you can attach for your records. Uh, can you stamp it, photocopy it, and give it back to me, Janice? You just want to stamp and copy? Yeah, because I'm filing, you know, it's, 
I want to have proof that I gave it to you here today, Janice. That's all. And also, if you can give a copy to the, if you so that way, normally I would go do it myself, but obviously I'm not being allowed you upstairs. Give, give it to who? The corporate counsel, because mm -hmm. those are the people that are gonna, you know, handle okay, it. Okay, so you want me to date stamp it, uh -huh. and you want me to give you a copy, a copy back? Yeah. Okay. Date, a date, you wait a date here stamp. then, and I'll bring it down. Sure. Here. I mean, if that's okay. what you want me to do, sure. Sure. Okay. 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 Great. Thanks, guys. Very simple. You want me to come up with you, or you good? So, uh, you know, just, I want to make it a norm. There's other people that do what I do. I'm sure you guys have seen the videos and stuff like that, you know. It's, yeah, no, but the, the, what I really don't, what I really don't like is, like, I can come in here and say, hey, you effing, no, 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 start cursing at you and start getting crazy, and there's really nothing you can do about it. But I feel like that defeats the purpose of what I'm here to do, because now I don't have any credibility. Now it's like, this guy's an a-hole. This guy's in here just, you know, he hates cops. He wants to defund the police. That's not what I want. I just want the police to be better educated on the law so that way you can, when times like this comes and you guys come, Santiago, and you walk in that door, you don't even need a sergeant. You could just say, hey, listen, this guy's well, well within his rights to film. He doesn't have to give his name time to this building. Let him up, you know? That's what I hope happens one day. Just so you understand yeah. that I'm only the recipient of the paper. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not suing you. No, I know. <laughs> but just you understand that my office does not handle this yeah. situation. So I'm the recipient as yeah. I am with the state marshals. But then I pass it on to the To the corporate council. Yeah, and they'll give me, I, I right. know how this works. Then they'll, they'll probably give me a ring. Do, doesn't do anything with this. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. You, 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 but you do pass it on to the corporation council. And they'll give me, they'll give me a ring. Okay. All right. Thank you. But that's what we do. No, all right. Thank you, Janice. Right. Signed, dated. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your service. You guys have a good day. Stay safe out there. Well, uh, those officers seemed like they were, you know, pretty reasonable. But, um, definitely seemed pretty reasonable. Just leaving here at Danbury City Hall. Obviously, guys, I could have went upstairs and, you know, I could have just walked around and filmed and without having any business, without getting this, serving this uh, notice of intent on them. We all know that. But uh, I got some uh, appointments in uh, Waterbury that I got to keep. So we'll just, you know, we'll save this one. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get a revisit in on this one where we just come in and start walking around and filming, do an actual audit. Because again, this is not really, I didn't plan this to be an audit. I planned it to just serve the town clerk with my notice of intent to sue for what they did to me yesterday and uh like i said guys you know we're out here affecting change little by little lawsuits complaints holding them accountable whatever needs to get done is the only way to affect real change and to do it in a respectful manner and educated and articulate manner is the way that i like to do things so i appreciate you guys as always stay safe god bless Long Island Audit, peace. Okay, that's the end of the uh, first file, correct? Um, uh, Sergeant? Correct. Okay. Just, for that, just over there, you had no involvement on June 10th of 2021, which is this video that we just viewed. No, I did not have any. You know, I have no uh, further questions on direct. However, so the court and counsel are aware, the state does intend to call uh, Sergeant Becker Bellis back uh, later on during the course of this hearing or trial as the uh, probably the fourth witness, if you will. There's, there's two more following his testimony today, and then at the conclusion of their testimony, I would then ask to have uh, this officer recalled on another area that the state did not explore in direct. Is it your cross? Good afternoon, officer. Sergeant, Sergeant you asked a question, or, Sergeant, I'm sorry. Um, you asked a question whether or not you were there the day the video was filmed. You weren't there at all, correct? No, I was not there. The only knowledge you have about the ongoings on that day are depicted in the video, correct? Yes. And Mr. Reyes was not arrested that day, was he? I don't believe so. Are you aware that he was charged for anything in connection with his conduct on that day? On that day, I, 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 I don't know. I don't believe so. I think right. the only day he was arrested was July 15th, to my knowledge, in the afternoon. Oh, fair enough. And, and, and I think it was patrol sergeant at the time, Castro Vinci, is that how you pronounce his name? Uh, Castro Vinci. Yeah. Technically, um, but it's 
commonly said caster but you, you, you've seen his body cam too haven't you no I have not seen his body cam so you haven't seen uh, that patrol sergeant's body cam from this day you know if one exists from this day uh, no I have not I, I, I don't know if one exists Okay. And uh, in fact, this incident takes place how many weeks before the incident uh, that precipitated the arrest, Mr. Reyes? I'm sorry, how many? Well, if this was if you know. July 10th, and then the incident that I was involved in in the morning was July 15th, and then the incident he was arrested was the afternoon of July 15th. So, so one week, it would be five days. So, you, so it's your testimony that that occurred about four or five days beforehand, is that right? Uh, without looking at the official, I know my incident was the 15th. I, I'm taking it on, on face value that that was the 10th. I could check Fair internally, enough. you know, but I, I believe that's the 10th. Did you ever arrest Mr. Reyes? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, so you didn't use the video or your knowledge of this video in any way, shape, or form to affect an arrest of Mr. Reyes, did you, sir? No. Yeah. We had a three-hour conversation at some point, correct? The day of my incident, yes. And, and in relation to the date of this video, do you, you remember what date it was that uh, you interviewed Mr. Mr. Reyes in relation to the complaint for Mr. Janusa? Uh, again, that was the 15th, July 15th, 15th in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. I don't need further questions from that. Thank you. Just to clarify, the video that we just saw is from June 10th, 2021. June 10th? Yes. Oh, I thought it was July 10th. Right. I had one dealing with Mr. Reyes that was okay. July 15th. The rest of it, without being able to reference internal reports. Okay. When you recall later on your testimony, you can check the internal reports and then clarify the date of uh, when this was shown. Okay. As looking at the reports, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I could find any incident that the police department. Okay. And then we'll have that clarified for the record? Yes. Okay. No, good. Is the, the one dealing that you're talking about, uh, did that dealing involve you arresting Mr. Reyes? No. You had a three hour dealing with him, didn't you, sir? Uh, three hours and 27 minutes is the length of the body cam. I believe I was probably talking to Mr. Reyes for, in total, I don't know, there's some driving in there, there's some speaking with Mr. Janusa, so roughly two and a half hours probably. You also have your own body cam of the interaction between you and Mr. Reyes, correct? Yes. And that's not all captured on that video, is it, sir? No, those videos have, I was not involved in those. Right. Appreciate. And in that three and a half hours, uh, are you inclined to arrest Mr. Reyes? And I'm going to object on the, this is outside the scope of direct examination. He said he had one meeting with Mr. Reyes. He opened the door and just inquiring briefly a couple of questions. Did you make the arrest that day? No, I did not. Okay. Mr. Reyes wasn't creating public disturbance where you were interviewing, was it? Uh, he, he, he was later found to have created public disturbance. I didn't I, ask you if he was found, sir. I was asking about your experience with Mr. Reyes during the three hours of conversation you had with him. Did you arrest well, him for creating public disturbance? Not that day, no. Did you arrest him for trespass? Not that day. Fair. Thank you. That's investigating that day. Presenter? Nothing for that. So if you may step down, and as Attorney Zentner indicated, that you may be recalled so the sequestration motion remains for you. Our sharing of the information with regard to what was asked of you, what you testified to with the other potential. Okay. So we'll next witness. For the record, he is the uh, city attorney for the city of Canada. Sir, step up here. Bring your cup of hand, raise your right hand, face the front. Captain, do you sound me, sir? Sound me, sir? 
swear that the information provided today is truth, the whole truth, and nothing but truth, so I'll be glad to upon penalty of perjury. Yes, I will. Thank you. If you please state your name and title for the record. My name is Lazio Tinter, Deputy Corporation Counsel, Dan Berger. Thank you very much, sir. Can you spell the last name for the monitor? P-I-N-T-E-R. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And make yourself comfortable. Uh, thank you. The microphone will, as long as your voice projects, the microphone will, will get everything that the recorder needs. Uh, is that your witness? Yes. Uh, good afternoon. Attorney Pitcher? Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, who do you work for? I work for the city of Danbury, Connecticut. Okay, in what capacity? In the capacity of managing attorney and deputy corporation counsel for the office of the corporation counsel. And what are your duties in that capacity? They're very broad. We advise departments individual department heads and department personnel. We advise public safety officials. We advise elected officials on all matters concerning municipal law, except for those instances where we have to retain outside counsel, but they report to us even in that event. And how long have you held this position? The present position since 2006. And prior to your uh, being hired in capacity, what was your experience before that? Well, I was in the office as Assistant Corporation Counsel since 1986. Now, I would like to uh, please direct your attention to the date of Thursday, July 15th, 2001. Were you working that day? Yes. And that, was that at City Hall in Denver? Yes. Um, did you have occasion to speak to John? With, on that day, was there a security guard who was employed, uh, who was being utilized in that capacity uh, that they had City Hall to find us? You yes, in? There, was, there was that type of personnel in the building. Okay, and why was uh, such a person hired as a security guard? Um, largely, although I wasn't uh, responsible for the hiring, um, in large case, in the larger case in this event, the person was hired in order to make sure that the safety of entry into the building was maintained and city policies implemented would be carried out by such personnel. And for the record, uh, Attorney Pinter, do you know the name of that individual who was working there in that day in that capacity? Yes, it's Phil Delusa. Do you have roughly any idea of when Mr. Janusa was uh, being utilized in that capacity? When he was first brought on? So uh, I, would, I can't say for sure, but I would say sometime prior to summer of that year, 2021. Yes, sometime prior to that point. Okay. Now, did you have occasion in the morning of July 15, 2021, uh, to go downstairs to the stairwell and meet an individual? Um, who uh, appeared out of South Florida and was taken. Yes, I did go down at the request of the mayor's office and uh, I went downstairs. I don't know what time it was, but it was in the morning that day. Okay, and when you went downstairs in that stairwell, did you meet with anybody? Yes, um, I saw that Mr. Janusso was in the stairwell and then the uh, Mr. Reyes was there. And I don't know who came first, but I think the both of them were in the stairwell when I came down that day. That and you walked down, did you take the elevator? I walked down the stairs. Okay. And did you meet, you said you met them both? I did. Um, this person, Mr. Reyes, that you met, did you see him in court today? Yes. Would you kindly point him out and describe what he's wearing? Yes, he's in black uh, jacket and shirt in the middle, in the front row there, between two other gentlemen. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant, Sean Paul Reyes, please. Correct me, sir. Um, and with the court's permission, I would now like to play what I would call file two of the uh, state sensitive that, that was admitted yesterday as a full exhibit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Your Honor, again, this is subject to the same court. You're reviewing the, uh, the objection which we talked about yesterday. There's Correct. A, there's a motion in limine with regard specifically right now to anything uttered by uh, the security guard. And uh, in addition, there's a, a new motion that we filed today with regard to anything other on the tape by not appearing uh, to a break police officer in terms of their admissibility, what the court can and cannot consider. Uh, in standing with yesterday, that's already been admitted as a full exhibit. We're going to play it, and then at the appropriate time, 
uh, paying on a natural breaking edge today, or if not tomorrow, of course, the community uh, with regard to uh, what it will consider or will not consider. Certainly, the motion limits have been uh, received, and motions of limiting have been received that are being given consideration. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Having uh, said that, Your Honor, may I ask yes. the question commission play it? What's up, buddy? Didn't didn't we go through this already? Huh? What do you, you got we, we, we went through this already, remember? Yeah, but we're, they're going to give me forms now. You guys can film. Okay. For the record, I'm stopping this tape at the 28 second mark. Um, the individual who's in that photograph. It says LA University. Do you recognize that individual from the picture? Yes, I do. How do you recognize him? Mr. Janusa, Mr. Phil Janusa. And he would be, again, the security guard on, the, on that day, July 15th of 2021? Yes, sir. You can have to go upstairs. You, what, your last name was Awesome? I forget. No, no. No, no. you're Sean. Okay, you so what we do now, bye, Carl. Um, they're going to have forms that you have to fill out a form before you can roll the camera like in the hallways and in the, but yeah. you can't go into a department. And film I, up I know, the counter, I know, right? I know exactly yeah. the rules okay. on filming. Yeah. All right. But I'm saying, and you can't disrupt. That, that's so what right now. That's why I educated yeah, so you I, they're, and the officers they're, they're last time. To, they're supposed to give me the forms as we speak. So okay. if you can just wait here. Uh, just wait one second. I'm sorry. All right. I, I don't, I don't really need a form though. That's not what you I need. need okay. We're not going to listen to this. Down here. I'm not kidding. Wait down here. Just give me a minute. Show me some. Respect. You didn't. You didn't show just me respect wait, last time. No. And your mayor didn't show me wait respect. Wait down here. Wait I'm down not, here. I'm not waiting you're not, anymore. You're not going upstairs. You're going to wait down here. Don't touch me. You show me some hey, respect. Hey, listen. Listen. You wait don't touch down me. here. Hey, don't you touch me. I'm just walking in the public here. area. You're a pain in the ass. You're okay, just trying great. to You're no, going to wait by down walking, here. By walking. I don't want you please, to call. I have to call upstairs first. Please. I have to get out of my way. First, I'm not going to get out of your way. Get out of my way. Get outside. Get outside. Get out of my way. Get outside. You're not coming down. Do me a favor. Um, based on what occurred that morning that you just described a few moments ago in your testimony, the person that Mr. Janus is talking to, do you know who that individual is by his voice? By voice, I believe, is Mr. Reyes. Go, go to engineering. Go, go around the corner and get somebody. You're not going upstairs. You have to fill out a form. First. I don't need to fill out a form. You're going to fill out a form. No, I'm not. You're making the forms right now. No, I'm um, not. You can sign out. You're all set. You're getting, involved, you're getting involved in the wrong fight here. Listen, you're you're buddy, getting involved in the wrong your fight here. All you're about is having yeah. people follow mm -hmm. you on YouTube and yep. all that nonsense, yeah. disrupting people. I'm not you disrupting get, anybody. You need to get don't a talk job. To me and you I'll need be, to get a real I, job. I don't, don't, you're disrespecting don't me. Talk you're to not going to go and I talk won't, to you the way I want. No, you won't. I'm tired of your no, you nonsense. Won't. I will. No, you won't. Hold you're going to get out of my way. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm telling you not to touch me. I need forms. This is the same thing. Um, you know, get, get last. You're not going upstairs, brother. You'll don't, be, be making the biggest mistake touch in your me, life. Man. What do you mean? Is that a threat? Is go that a on. threat? Get, get, go, go upstairs to the third floor. Janusa, Phil. Phil, you get, relax. Uh, get, get probably uh, Dean or, uh, yeah, get, the, get Dean. Okay. Second floor. Yep. Tell them I need those forms too. You per, you know you know you're breaking the law by preventing me you're from moving, right? I don't care. If I'm you're not going to do what I, I don't you're care breaking if I the lose law. my job, buddy. You're yeah. not going to keep you're gonna going around and you're gonna show I'll be, call, I'll be calling out the new, universal. Good, good for yeah. you. Good for you. We're you will. New, You'll be we back at the rules. hospital. We have new rules, buddy. I don't care about you. Have rules. To well, yeah, I know you care. All you care about is yourself. All I care about is the constitution. I don't give a damn. You and your constitution, you can stick it. You're not going anywhere until you fill out a form. Okay. I could stick the Constitution. Very American, Phil. Hey, get out of my way, man. You're not going anywhere, bro. Get out of my way. I'm telling you, I'll put you through the get wall. Get out of my way. You're not, you're not going will anywhere. Not. You're not you going not. anywhere. You're not you going anywhere. You keep try pushing me. me like that. We're going to have a problem. Buddy. Try me, We're going to have a problem. Try me, buddy. We're going to have a problem. Try me. Try me. Try me. Try me. Yeah. I'll mm -hmm. knock you down like I knocked trees down all my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not a tree. I hit back, buddy. 
Don't remember that. Remember that one. Yeah, okay. You I'm not a tree. Back. All right. Well, you try to head back. back. See how far, how hard you go down, buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're wasting your time here. You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to calm down and stop. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Can you go into the building department yeah. and see if uh, Patrick, go onto the premises, see if Patrick, get Patrick. Sir. You are preventing my movement from going upstairs. Right. And we're going to prevent it until we get a form. And it's, I and don't need your form. form. Well, you're going to have to, we have no, new laws here, I don't brother. care. No, it's not we a law. We have new laws. It's not a law. Well, we are. It's we are implementing a new law since I'm you came go here visit last time. I'm going to go the mayor. No, you're not. You're going to fill out a form. You're free to film. I am sure you film. I know. I, you're not, I educated on you. I educated you on that last time. Remember? Film until you fill out a form. Don't tell me I'm free to film. I know that. I told you, you that. Well, you're going to fill out a form, <laughs> or else you're not, not going to film. I'm not well, filming. Well, then you then not have to call the Danbury Police. You're call not gonna, the Danbury you're Police. Not did that work? How did that work out for you last time? Disrupt everything. How did that work out for you last time? Listen, buddy. You. How did that work out? Not the way you expected, did it? You're going to listen. I got you on camera pushing me. I'm not pushing you. Just get out of my no, face. No, no. I got you on camera yeah. already pushing me. So you can either stop now and stand down, or you can sit in a jail cell tonight. Whichever one you want to do. Whichever one you want to do. You call, uh, I, he, I wouldn't call Danbury to police. Give me forms. Anybody coming in that has to start filming again, they uh, do the elevator. If you We're trying. Mind. They're uh, they're. Uh, they're supposed to, they're going to get me a form. He has to fill out a form before he starts rolling the tape. Yeah. Okay. We just didn't pull the back I, I asked Tom to go get Dean. Okay. But, and then I, I don't want to let him upstairs until we have I'm trying to go upstairs and see the town clerk. Yeah, You're preventing me from here. conducting business. We, I spoke with Les this morning, and we have, they're supposed to have forms for me to fill out. Yeah. He's going to fill out a form, and then he can go bounce. And no, I can go about wherever I want. And you can't go, he can't go, you know, into a department and fill them over the counter. Can you guys you believe see, this guy? You see yep. Can okay. you believe him? Stop, man. Just stop. Stand down. You don't want to lose your job, right? Buddy. Do you want to go to jail? Is that what you jail, want? You don't want to lose my job. You're already, so you're, you're already, you're already heart, assaulted I'm me. The right thing. And you're All you're about is disruption. No, I'm not. I'm about walking in a public building. Okay. Excuse me. You're, you're waiting here, buddy. You're Excuse me. You're I'm asking here. you to move. I'm, I'm gonna asking move. you to move. I'm not going to move. I'm going to keep walking, man. God, try to walk through me. I'm not going to walk I'm through me, buddy. Walking. I'm going to keep walking. Back up, buddy. Back up. Don't push me. There Back you go. Up. Look at you. Back you're going to go to jail. You're not going now, up. Now you're going to go to jail. Good. That's fine. That's now fine. you're going to go to jail. You're not going upstairs you until have no we get authority forms. To push me. We no, have forms now. You're going to fill out before no, you go. Get out of my face, buddy. I'm trying to walk. I'm not but trying to walk. I'm going to try to walk around you. You're not so going, that way you're not going you can't anywhere. say that I'm trying to you're not going anywhere. attack you in any way. You're not going anywhere. You're going to go to jail. Now you're going to be held accountable. Now you're going to jail. You made a big mistake. You could have just said, hey, buddy, remember me from last time? That's it. No, and kept me walking. You could have just let you me keep walking. All your bad con, all your crime, yeah, I know. Your constitution, that's not going to get yeah, you yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Anybody coming the, up? The constitution's not going to get me anywhere, right? Do you call the mayors? Okay. I'm just going to keep them in here, Tony. You're costing your city more money. That's all okay. you're doing. We have new rules. You don't care about the rules. You're gonna, you're gonna fill out a form and then you're free to film. No, I'm free you to film already. Calendar. I'm free to film already. No. Yes, I am. I'm free to film. You're gonna, you're gonna fill remember out last time? Now. Do you remember what you, happened last time? I remember time? last time. For an so, hour and a half, you disrupted everything and you caused a lot of. You problems. did. You Just like you're doing now. Officers come out. You called them. Expense. You yeah, called because them. You, 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 were you called them, not me. Everything. What's wrong with you? Police are coming. Yeah. Let the police do it. Police are coming. Okay. okay. Police are coming. Let police the police deal with me. Excuse me now. I'm gonna go conduct my business. You're dismissed. Try to go through me. Police You're dismissed. Try to go through me. Wait for the police to come. They'll work it out. Wait for minute. the police to come. That means go back to your desk and do your job. Don't go you back tell to me ever what to do, and buddy do your boy. Job. Don't ever tell me what to do. Go back you to your desk. You just go back and once you go and outside and get a job. real job. Do your job. My job is to expose tyrants. No, like your yourself, job though. is to have to take that's up time. My job. Take up time and take people's. You're gonna go to jail today. No, that's fine. That's fine. I, that's like the jail. fifth time you've pushed that's fine. me. Fine. I don't want You're you gonna go to jail today. I'm trying to walk past you. That's all I'm trying to do. Not going anywhere. Get out of my way. We have to have. We're gonna have a form. Get out of my way. I don't want your form. Can we have a document marked for ID, please, at this time? Can you approach the clerk? I'll just show the council first. Please.
May I approach the witness, please? Okay, Attorney Pinder, I'm going to show you for the record what's been marked for ID purposes only as things exhibit two. Would you kindly take a moment and look at that document, please? Yes. Do you recognize it? I do. And how do you recognize it? Uh, this was a set of policies document that reflected the city policies in effect. Uh, and we will fill out about that here. So it was in effect as of the date, the operative date here, which would be July 15, 2021. Yes. As you look at right now, was that document made in the regular course of business? Yes, it was. Was it the regular course of business to make such a document? Yes. Was it made or created shortly after the policies were decided and implemented? Yes. David offers a full exhibit. Your Honor, we were here. Of course. Thank you. Attorney Pinter, your job is corporation counsel, correct? The deputy corporation. Deputy corporation. As part of that job, you advise the town and the city and the mayor and its employees, correct? Yes. You do not keep town records, correct? That's not part of your job. We have records in our office. I understand that your office has records. So you do not keep the records, correct? My office does. You are a corporation counsel, correct? Deputy corporation. Deputy corporation counsel. That is not part of the Deputy Corporation Council's job to keep town hall records, correct? City Hall, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Could you clarify that? Right. We do have records, we have files, lots of I files understand. in the office. You, Attorney Pinter, do not keep corporation records or town hall records or city hall records as part of your job as Deputy Corporation Council. Yes, we do. Is that a royal mean, Attorney Corral Pinter? Our office maintains records of all kinds. Department I'm not records, asking about your office. Records. You, Attorney Pinter. I don't work privately, I work for the city. You're and still an attorney, work. correct? Yes. And you are a Deputy Corporation Counsel. Yes. And as part of the job of the Deputy Corporation Counsel, you provide legal advice, correct? Yes. You do not keep business records of the town hall as part of your job as city deputy corporate counsel. You don't object is asked and answered. No, no, answer. it has not been answered. I want to overrule the objection, it has not been answered. So, again, as part of the job of a deputy corporate corporation counsel for the city of Denver, you, sir, not your office, you do not keep business records, correct? No, we do, do keep records. Again, when you say we, you mean the office. The but office you. has city records in the office. Correct. But you. Personally, personally, I don't. I'm not there personally. I, I work Very in the city. city. Yes. And again, this, this policy, right? Did you offer this? Most of it. And your job, again, is to give legal advice, correct? Yes. So this is your legal opinion, correct? It's not the way I would classify it. It's a policy created and approved by the mayor, partially by our office, as we do with anything. We produce, we research, and we help advise the client on production of policies, regulations, or other measures. So this is not your end product. It's the mayor's end product. Correct? It's a collaboration. That's what we do every day. The office of the corporate counsel, in this case, deputy corporate counsel, is not a legislative body, correct? That's correct. You do not enact ordinances, correct? Correct. You do not enact rules, correct? You don't enact anything. Exactly. Right. Your Honor, I would object. This is a wrong witness for this, for authentication of this document. This is not a custodian of records. Yeah, again, I would say the state has established this business record. He's employed in that capacity. He advises on legal matters such as this. I asked him the three foundational questions to satisfy the business record exception to the hearsay rule. It is relevant for the purpose of the testimony. By the way, the video, the evidence that is due so far about the defendant not signing in, and it's consistent with that. It's consistent with the policy. This corroborates that. The statement to that is relevant. Just as overruled, that is a minute to pull the business record from the chief's lead. Thanks.
Go ahead and mark the full exhibit. That's right. It's been marked as a full exhibit. Uh, yes. I'll give it. May I have this report, please? They have one more document. Please go up for ID only, and I'll introduce it. Thank you. Make sure reflect on showing it to council. Mr. I'm going to assume that Judy Kirkman's handling everything about it. He, he is this one. Sorry, I just don't. He just, he just asked me. Remember, my job is a little more. Right? Okay, good. Approach the witness, please. Mm -hmm. For the record, Attorney Pinter, I'm going to show you what's been marked. State's Exhibit 3 for identification purposes only. Do you recognize that photograph? It, it appears to be the front door, one of the front doors of City Hall. And there appears to be a sign in that photo? Yes, I see a sign. What does the sign say? The sign says, Welcome to the City of Danbury. All visitors must sign in. Okay. And that's right when you first, anyone from the public enters those front doors? Yes. It is a very accurate representation of what it depicts. That yes. I think we're offering the it. The objection relevance doesn't establish to it's relevant to the events in this particular case. It's just fairly that it represents what the door looks like at one time. And if, if you agree it's a fair and accurate representation of the door at that time? I was not there, Your Honor. I cannot agree to it. The motion is overruled. The objection is overruled. The evidence is at the support of I'm just trying to conduct business in town hall and this gentleman over here, Phil, tyrant over here, Phil, is uh, not allowing me and is pushing me and is becoming physical with me. Yeah, who who are you, you who are you, sir? Let me get to you have to fill the form out. Who, who are you, sir? I'm the deputy corporation counsel. Oh, I'm going to be dealing with you. Great, great. So I'm sure, I'm sure you know, I'm just letting you know now, I'll be dealing with you soon. Right. Right. So just letting you know, he's preventing me from conducting business in the city hall. He's put his hands on me numerous times on camera. He works. He's contracted with the city, correct? So I'm just letting you know it's going to be coming to light. So I would appreciate it if I was allowed to conduct my business that I'm here to conduct. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Without interference from the government here at Danbury. What would you like to do in the building exactly? I, would, I am a journalist. I'm, I'm gathering content for my story. Okay. Would you be going in the halls? Yes, I'll be going in so any just public. Just in the halls. Just in the halls. Sir, respectfully, I, your employees here are the ones that don't know the law. I know the law. I'm not going to be disrupting business. I'm here to record in publicly accessible areas, which is allowed under the First Amendment, freedom of press. You prevented me from doing that in your library here, the Danbury Public Library. You have prevented me from doing it here, and now you're preventing me again. So it seems like your city is creating a pattern to where you're not learning the lesson of the First Amendment and my constitutional rights. I've been nothing but respectful to people. Your, secu your security off. Oh. Watch the video. Watch the video. Your Watch the videos. Watch the videos. And tying people when, a, up. when a judge when a judge sees That's the videos and when a jury sees the videos, they'll understand. Right. So, and I'm going to hold your city accountable. Uh, uh, accountable, and you and you're gonna you're gonna see some. So, so what the policy here is that people can. Walk the hallway. You can film the walls of the hallway. Hallway is a public space. It's not an issue with that. But you cannot film across the counters in individual offices because people are doing business. At, at this point, records at, in at there. this at this Would point, that be sir. Satisfactory? At this at this point, sir, I, you, you're explaining to me things that I already know, okay. and I'm just trying to conduct my business. And each minute that I'm here. I'm being detained by this gentleman it's right now. You're disrupting everything. Well, we, okay, let, thanks for admitting you're detaining let, Let's me. put it this way. We're just trying to clarify the purpose of the visit. And if you're saying that you're going to This walk is a public the halls, building. I don't need to clarify it, so you I'm know that. I'm not disagreeing with you. 
I'm just saying that if you want to walk the halls. No, but I, I heard the radio. The I heard the radio broadcast that your that your mayor did, and on your on, he said that he talked to you and got your advice and said that the public library that I was wrong. Listen. You're making big mistakes with all this news and with all the radio interviews and everything. The mayor trying to. You saw what the police chief said, did you not? Did you not see the police chief statement? Let me talk, let me just talk to me about that. First of all, the library issue is a different issue. It's a different kind of facility mm -hmm. than than the open halls of the city hall. But this a, is a this is a public space. Mm -hmm. public I know space. that. So I don't understand why I can't keep going on with my business. But you can go with the business. You just can't. There's certain things here you can't do. You can't film across the. This is what I, I go. Have like I ever that. done that? No. That's good. That's but this fine. is. That's I know what I'm doing. I'm a journalist. I'm gathering content for my story, and I'm just trying to conduct my business. This is fine. The hallways are open. You can film public stuff on the hall, on the hallway walls. People have done that before. No issue with that. Yeah. But we can't allow you to do. Not allow you to do. But what what's improper to do is to stand at the counter. But what you're telling what you're telling you're, you're the, telling me things I already understand. Okay. Good. I already understand. I I don't break the law. Your city right. does. What, what, Your what, city what breaks Phil, the law. What Phil has to do with anybody. Phil's going to jail. He's Phil's going. Anywhere. Yeah. So Phil's going to jail. We're just, we're just trying. You'll see. We're just trying to explain to you what our reasonable policies are. Now we know what they are. So go ahead, walk around Great. the hall. Great. Okay. But I'm make gonna... sure the rule is that. Hey, I don't need you to make. Space. Listen, I don't. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Okay, she wants. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Okay. Just want to make it clear because okay. it's a recent. It's a recent development because of the, the First Amendment and freedom of press is a recent development for you guys. Come on. As you as you know, the First Amendment has been the subject of litigation for 100 years. It's not, it's not so pat that everything is totally clear about it. There are distinctions in different places, different yeah. buildings. Different public places. buildings. You know that. Public buildings, you know the which between, this you is. You know the difference between a limited public forum, forum and a public yes, forum? Yes, I do. Okay. The library is so a limited to, public so forum. This is not a limited public forum. This is just a public forum. I agree with you. Okay. With so there should be the no restrictions is, on. The so library is. A, it's a limited public forum, but it's a it limited as far as protests. I wasn't protesting. I was peacefully. I wasn't disrupting business. You're and you'll see. Us you right will, you will see. You're disrupting yourself, Phil. You're disrupting just, yourself. Just stay. You know. The okay. library incidents, which you'll litigation is coming. What you'll understand is is that it is a limited public forum, but that's for protesting creating disturbances, not for peacefully walking around filming, not not even filming anybody individually, well, just filming will, that, the building. Th that will be tested. Yeah, that and, and tested. that's and th that's why I do this, to test it, to, to see I, if the courts understood, will, understood. So, will support. So here we have a public forum. I understand that. That I stops at that. the counter of the offices. Okay. That's understood. Okay. okay. We're, good. I, We're good. Just so you understand, the counter, anything I can see from public, I can film from public because the eyes can't trespass. So any sensitive documents you have that could be seen from me standing in public, you should probably move can't them. Do that. Can't do that. I you can film, with, film across the counter. I, I can't put my phone across you the counter. You can film in the foyer. I can, in yeah. Immediate area, but not I can, across the counter. I can film the counter though. I know I can do that. I don't need you to tell me what I can and cannot do. Like I said, I know I can film the counter and the people working at the counter from the public lobby. You can't I, film across the counter, though. Okay, I don't know. Keep, what the, I don't know what you're meaning by keep, across keep, the keep counter. Keep film to the edge of the counter, not on the counter. Not yeah, I, the but counter. I, this is what I do, so I know you I need know to. Ed, you, you need. Do, but, you but, need but, to educate Phil and everybody else here who has a problem. My not clients me. Clients have already been educated that the counter okay, is great. the barrier. No matter okay, who great. In, no, they're the not going to. Your, your clients aren't going to be fully educated until this is brought for litigation, and well, then bring the litigation. It's, it's coming. Fine. It's, it's fine. coming. But keep. I'm waiting on body. You guys are. You guys are holding up body camera footage. You guys are doing all the, the work to try and keep. Keep, keep in mind guys that we're not disagreeing with you. Denying right to FOIA walk requests. In the public forum. Yeah. So well, you did last time. Why this time is is this time different? You, I didn't see you last time. Yeah, but your 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 clients did. And they prevented me, speak, right? I can't speak for that. There's oh. been a, there's You've been seen a, the video, though, right? I'd like to offer, uh, have Mark ID another exhibit, please. Yeah, for the purpose.
Ne, točno god nisam se. Showing you what's been worked, uh, Charlie Pinter has states exhibit four for ID only. Take a moment, please, and look at that staple document. Yes. Do you recognize it? I do. And how do you recognize this document? This was a document that I produced in terms of the attended an advisory member on July 8, 2021, from the our office design. Okay, what was the essentially the topic or the area of law that you advised the mayor on from this, this is dated July 8, 2021? Yeah, the general, the gist of the memorandum. Your Honor, well, objection, witnesses about to read from the document, not in evidence. Sustain. I, I will read from it for this title. Uh, but the document. So just, it was an objection. They were sustained. So you cannot read in case you were. I didn't see you were doing that. Attorney made an objection. I objected that you can't. I sustained the objection that you cannot read from the document, as you know. You continue with your. What, what was the, the essence of what that document was about? The essence of it was the examination of First Amendment law with respect to public facilities. Okay. And you said it's dated July 8, 2021? Yes. That was one week before you met Mr. Reyes and Mr. Reyes? Approximately one week. Yes. And uh, this, this memorandum, um, where was it circulated after you had created it? Um, once the mayor had received it, it was circulated to essentially departments, city departments, officials, and heads of departments. Okay, and to your knowledge, was that disseminated to them prior to July 15, 2021? Yes, yes. And again, the same question I asked you earlier, this document, was it made in the regular course of business? Yes, it was. Was it the regular course of business to make such a document as legal issues came up? Yes. And, um, um, was it made or created shortly after you had conducted your research and then and then uh, prepared the documents? Yes. And this had to do with the. It is also you said had to do with the filming of certain areas within this, within City Hall building. Yes, it did. And the document that was shown earlier, which I believe is States Exhibit Two. Again, showing this is a full exhibit which you can read from. Um, this doc, number two, State's Exhibit 2, which was created in part as a result of your research regarding State's Exhibit 4 for ID only. Yes. And you also indicated, I think, if I heard correctly on the tape or the video, that you had educated your people about this issue. Yes, we did. Right, now I'm going to offer State's Exhibit 4 to the Brief mail here, Your Honor. Yes. First question is it being offered as a business? Uh, record? Yes. Sir, this is a legal memo, correct? This yes. Is, this is your legal opinion, correct? Yes. This is your advice to your client, the city. Yes. In fact, it's an attorney client communication, correct? In essence. It is. It's being offered, it was provided uh, to provide legal advice to your client, the city, and you as an attorney provided that legal yes. advice. Now, do I understand correctly, you waive attorney client privilege with respect to, on behalf of your client, with respect to the uh, matters in this document? The gesture of this. And he doesn't ask. Yeah. The because if he doesn't, there are other issues here. So it's your, you're objecting. Uh, you are asking the questions saying the business record here, which for the foundation has been laid, is a violation of attorney client privilege. I have further questions. This is only one of them. I may have additional questions. I'll overrule the objection. Continue. And again, this is based on your research as an attorney, correct? Yes. It's a legal opinion. Okay. It's your opinion. It's our office. Oh, but you represent your office as the deputy chief counsel, correct? Yes. So having said that, it's an internal memo, correct? Yes. And this memo would not be subject to a FOIA request, correct? If it was requested. Someone could request it for buying FOIA. And you would not provide it because it's attorney client communication, correct? It's possible, it depends, because the freedom of information law mm -hmm. is not, it, it has nuances in it. 
but it certainly does. Where there are exceptions and there are documents that are public records, and you have to examine each request accordingly. And does your office examine the FOIA requests? If asked to, if some departments get them and they deal with them, some we don't. So if somebody asks for your legal memoranda to your client in a FOIA request, would you provide it in response to that request? We would provide an opinion in, to accommodate that request, yes. It would be in a memo form, it could be in an email form, it could be in any form. I'm not asking you to provide anything. If you are asked to provide your legal memoranda to your client, the city of Denver, in a FOIA request, would you then go to your files or records and then provide your legal memoranda to the city of Denver in response to a FOIA request? Then we object. This is getting far afield from the offer. Yeah, I'm trying to give you some leeway here. Well, it's been offered as a business record. He's going to testify to it. What is your objection? I can tell you where I'm going with this line of question. Let's get it. If it's attorney-client privileged, it's not the ordinary course of business because this is a public body, not just a regular business, right? What they have available to the public would be in the ordinary course of business. Legal memoranda are upon request. They don't just publish legal memoranda constantly. In other words, if I had a client and somebody- So your argument is that this type of document is not produced by the Deputy Corporation Counsel in the normal course of his business? In an ordinary course of business, Your Honor, because it's upon request. Is that your objection? That's not my only objection. That objection is overruled. Okay. What is your next objection? So my next question is- Well, I think I've asked that question, Your Honor. So now my next objection is this. This is not- This is a witness's legal opinion, a witness who has not been, one, disclosed as an expert, and even if he is an expert, will be testifying on an ultimate issue in this case, whether or not there's a constitutional violation. And that's what it's being offered for. It's legal advice- Right now it's being offered as a business record. But that's an exception to a hearsay. I assume once it's- If it is entered in as a full exhibit, you can inquire further as to all the other issues you want to inquire. No, Your Honor. This is a very different- It's not a hearsay issue anymore. It's an issue of admissibility of either a lay witness, if he's being offered as a lay witness, as to an opinion as to whether or not something is constitutionally sound or not, a germane issue in this case, or an expert witness. Let me see that. It seems to me it's being offered as a policy that was offered to deal with situations in the building. I think, as Your Honor can see, it's not a policy. It's a Q&A. Okay. Thank you.
That's a little bit. Okay. 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 Does it appear to be a uh, legal memorandum? Is that, uh, sir, was that written at the request of the mayor, or was it provided to you, provided by you to the mayor uh, without? It was a request. It was provided by our office to the mayor for guidance. Your Honor, again, same objection, expert opinion or lay opinion it has no relevance to this case what this attorney is, no matter how tenured or seasoned, what his opinion is as to how the First Amendment applies to the Denver yeah, City Hall. Did this particular memorandum lead to, where's the other document that's currently? Did that be the memorandum? Lead to this? It, it did, because as most attorneys would understand, especially municipal attorneys, you need to do careful research examining the issue and then you develop a product after that. The product was uh, the bottom portion of that exhibit, that document there. Yes. So they which, were, which came first, that document which is not yet in evidence, or this document which is in evidence? The document that was, is not in evidence. I find certainly uh, both documents are relevant to the situation we have here. Obviously, I think maybe as relevant as it gets to me. So your objection as to relevance is overruled with your other objections. Again, Your Honor, what is it, when it's being offered for what purpose? That there's an opinion? It's being offered because I assume that's the policy that was in effect at City Hall on the day in question. Your Honor, again. Is that is not relevant to you? Because it's not a policy. It's advice to there's two exhibits, one which is already in there. And that is pretty much a rundown of the policy at City Hall at the time of the incident question, is it not? No, Your Honor. It's, a, it's advice about the First Amendment. So you're saying purpose. that it's not policy, that is advice. That is exactly what We can doing. agree to disagree. Your objection is overruled. And this is? Nothing further on this issue. <coughs> Uh, is there any further objection to the marking of this as a full exhibit? I'll get right again. Same objections as before, just to preserve the record. Lay opinion or expert opinion on ultimate issue. Not a policy. The ultimate issue is whether or not he violated statute 53A110A or statute 53A181A. Oh, Your Honor, that's the ultimate issue. Your whether or not there's a constitutional defense, whether or not it's been violated, will be your defense to make. So your objection there is overruled as well. It's not the ultimate issue. Again, Your Honor, to preserve the record, there is a question whether or not these statutes, as applied to my client, would violate his First Amendment rights. So it is an ultimate issue in this case. No, it's just to preserve the record. Okay. Overruled again. For the record, is now I can totally see the state's exhibit before you, Your Honor. Any further objections being marked as a full exhibit, Attorney Koopman? Or you want to make the one you made already? Same objections, Your Honor. Overruled. Mark. Okay, if I could just direct your attention again, turn your attention to the, uh, the video. But keep I'm waiting on body. You guys are you guys are holding up body camera footage. You guys are doing all the, the works to try and keep keep, keep in mind guys that we're not disagreeing with you. Denying right FOIA requests. In the public forum. Yeah. So well, you did last Do time. It. Why this time is th is this time different? I didn't see you last time. Yeah, but your 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 clients did, and they prevented me. Speak, right? I can't speak for that. There's been uh, a. There's you've been seen a, the video though, right? There's been an understanding of a policy that's in place now. So we just okay. ask that people respect the policy. Because that policy at this point, at this point, I, I believe everybody. I believe law enforcement was called. So I'm going to wait for law enforcement before I do my little walk around the building, and then um, yeah, Phil, does, does you're going to jail. Let him go. I walk around him. Yeah, come yeah. on, I walk around. Has the police been called? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so waste wasting resources again on on a journalist. Right. Our professional will walk around with you and make sure that he can do that whatever rule, he can do whatever he likes. He can and then do whatever if, he likes. If you don't disagree with something he says in the policy, then you do. He have can do to, whatever he likes. But I'll be, I'll be waiting action. for law enforcement as he put his hands on me several times on video. So that's how this is going to play out well, today, he, Phil. You, know, you got in my face. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thanks. Seems uh, Danbury City Hall hasn't learned their lesson here.
This gentleman is the uh, Deputy Corporation Counsel here. He's going to be the one representing them in the upcoming lawsuit. Phil over here is unstable. He needs to be relieved of his duties immediately. As soon as the police come, we're going to be uh, pressing charges against uh, Phil here. As you can see, Phil pushed me many times, got in my face. Uncalled for behavior by public servants here. Is there any cameras in here? No cameras. Seems I have the only camera here. There's ones over here. They wouldn't have seen him pushing me though. You guys don't comply with FOIA requests. I've been trying to get FOIA, FOIA information from you guys for a yeah. while. <clears throat> All I'm saying is that that's available if you want to see I know. public records. Just like these these cameras here, I can FOIA request those the security footage. FOIA request any, any public, any public, public record. record, yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. you, you've probably done that in different yeah. places. That's yeah. fine. That's the fine. library, the police yeah. department body cameras, sure. all of it. Sure. Mm -hmm. No, I, I left the bank, uh, I'm telling you, two years ago. Start walking around. We're gonna wait here for law enforcement to arrive, as they called law enforcement here, and uh, we're gonna be pressing charges on security officer Phil here from Allied Universal. I don't know what they what they feed these guys at Allied and what what type of propaganda they feed them, but uh, there goes your ride. It's a little before 10 up. We indicated we're going to 4 30. We've been going for a while. Just, you, know, you want a brief recess? Staff need a brief recess? I'm talking five minutes. Or are we good? Mm -hmm. Counselor, you're both fine continuing? I have a piece for the rest of it. Well, I thought we were taking a break this long. This is, this is what I'm asking. So, so we'll acknowledge this. I think it's a good time. We're about halfway through what we plan on doing today. So, uh, we'll stay in a recess uh, 4 p.m. Thank you, man. Recess. All rise. Right. So you're still under oath. You're still under oath. You're still under oath. You're still under oath. You're Yesterday I feel it's an anomaly. Today was probably more typical and it's more maybe even better because there are other times when we're done by one as well. So, uh, so we'll shoot for 215. Obviously the goal is to get as much done each day as we can. So with that being said, uh, sir, you're still under oath. Direct examination may continue. So I'm going to continue with the uh, video, Your Honor. Uh, 
How you doing, sir? Hey, I gotta talk to you guys when you get a chance. I gotta report a crime. Hey, is that Utter? Is that Officer Utter? May I just move the council, please, Your How you doing today, Sarge? Good, yourself? Pretty good. Uh, can I just get your name? Sergeant Fernandez. Sergeant Fernandez. And what was your name, sir? It's right here, pal. Officer Yacobas. Yeah, so what, what you're wearing right there, that's just a costume. I'd appreciate it if you just identified yourself so I know yeah, you're law I, enforcement. I just did. I told you, Officer Yacobas. Oh, okay. Yeah. 651. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Sergeant, yes, sir. Uh, I would like to uh, report. Um, I've stopped for the record, Officer Yacobas. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the um, this, I would call file number two or tape number two. Um, Attorney Pinter, did you have any um, further involvement in the morning with regard to Mr. Reyes? The morning of July 15, 2021. I don't believe I did. There was a statement that I gave to an officer. I don't recall if that was the morning or afternoon. States Exhibit 2, the, among other things, there was a sign-up policy for those who are visiting City Hall to conduct whatever business they have at City Hall on a given day. Why was there a sign-up policy back in July 15th, 2021? What is your understanding as to why there wasn't? There are objections, relatives. Oh. So, the, at the time, starting in 2020, the governor issued his uh, executive orders for that apply to the whole COVID situation. And those executive orders trickled down to the municipalities and our other agencies. In addition, the then mayor, Mayor Bauman, issued a local declaration of emergency. So the trickle down of that was to put protective measures in place for the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens, the voters, and the occupants of Danbury. And so uh, early policies included masking up at given times. Uh, sign the requirement so that the health department could fully advise itself and other state agencies regarding individuals um, in, in some level of detail. I'm not intimately familiar with that, but that's the sign in policy which provided a way for city officials, including the health department, state officials, to see what was going on and who was in the building and in what capacity, et cetera. So it allowed uh, in probably every municipality in the state to. Uh, check and make sure that people were going to certain offices, were carefully protecting uh, city officials and other public in the buildings. In essence, it, it was that kind of uh, intent. Let me ask you this, was such a policy of assignment, did it also allow a given building like City Hall to keep track of those who entered the building and those exited so that it didn't have too many people at that time because of the pandemic? Objection leading, Your Honor. Uh, sustained me first. Was there another reason as to why it was a sign-up sheet other than one you just identified? Yes, in the case of uh, an official in the front of the building, when people came in, whoever that official might have been, it was a way to ascertain the names of individuals and then provide them with a, a card for the particular department that they were indicated they were going to. The reason for that was that that was an additional way to make sure that everyone knew where people were for precaution, safety, 
uh, and make sure that offices knew that somebody was coming up and that people would be masked up. You know, it was, it was a different time. So that was the essence of, of the, one of the clear essences of the policy. why there was a prohibition regarding filming at or behind the counter of a given officer position. Yes. What was that? Well, after our review, um, our determination was that in the best interests of the safety and security of the building, as well as its officials, that, and the information that citizenry provides, uh, in addition, and included in that, is information on computer screens, which would be compromised, respectively theoretically would be compromised, if individuals were allowed to freely roam and film in those areas. So if one looks at the opinion that we rendered, uh, it indicates that there are certain areas and parts of buildings, some buildings uh, and facilities that are limited public forum. Limited public force called that for a reason. It's called that because your honor objection. The witness is offering legal opinion at this point. What a limited public forum is. I think he's answering the question. But uh, uh, why should rephrase? Run and restate the question, and you can start again. Objection is sustained. Please have a moment. I was asking before if you could identify. The reasons has to be prohibition regarding filming at or behind the counter of a given department, like the assessor's office, the town clerk, things like that. Yes, so it was, it was intended, that part that was intended to safeguard not only the public officials in doing their duties, but citizens, documents, records, and other information could be compromised if someone filmed those items across the county. And what kind of, uh, when you, the documents that you're just referring to, would you consider them sensitive in nature so that they can be? They could be. No, no way to know for sure. They could be. They include, for example, somebody's date of birth. Good. Yes. Social Security. That too. Please have more questions. testimony that you gave us a written statement that day. Do you remember you saying that, Attorney Pinter? I do. Do you remember about what time it was? Do you remember if not? Well, I, I don't recall if it was after the morning or the afternoon. If it was after, in the afternoon, maybe around 2 o'clock, 2.30. If I showed you your statement, would, you, would it refresh your memory as to the time? It would help you. May I approach the witness, please, John? Okay. You just read it to yourself silently when your memories will refresh, calmly look up. Is your memory now refresh? Yes. But what was the time? About 2 30 in the afternoon, 2 40 in the afternoon. The 17th? The 20th, I'm sorry, uh, July 15th of 2021. Again, 
perfect the record. This is a file that's part of the Exhibit 1, which you already issued. Uh, and I have the order. Said the you know, orders. And, and, you, and uh, I will actually, I will, I will indicate now for the record, certainly any. With regard to the motions limiting, uh, any, any statements made by Mr. Janusa uh, on this video is hearsay and not admissible unless offered for a, 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 a reason other than the truth of the matter uh, or offered within an exception to the hearsay rule. And with regard to the defense motion limiting, with regard to uh, the officers that appear on the video uh, as well, uh, and the officers who appear in the video, uh, their statements, if they do not testify here, are deemed hearsay and are not admissible in that they will not be considered by myself, who's the trier. In fact, here we've done it this way to expedite <coughs> what would have been a very uh, you know, glorious uh, uh, undertaking of cutting and pasting and splicing or whatever uh, the proper terms are for audiovisual presentation. So uh, certainly, uh, if there are in individual statements that uh, are hearsay and therefore not to be considered by myself in my uh, deliberating on the two uh, charges here, that you can make those uh, arguments at the appropriate time. I will wait. I was going to say, at a later time, when both counsel can argue uh, counsel's uh, motion to remain on this. So, as a blanket statement, both motions to remain are granted, uh, but you know, subject to uh, any offering of uh, by Mr. Beckman Center uh, of reasons why certain individual, and then we'll get into the individual moments and minutes and seconds on the screen uh, as to what in particular statements he's offering. Uh, as potential exceptions to it here, so I understood your honor. Thank you, and I, I, I just want to also be there's one other theory I want to offer, which I did not do yesterday, but I would like the court to also consider. Well, wait, we're waiting to understand now. We have to do it. You want to do it now? I, I, I do that. I can do it later. I made the objection, but I'll do it. That's fine. I'll do it later. Time. All right. Um, okay. So we we'll just if you just give me a moment so we can move ahead to the next file. Your honor, just briefly about the room council. All right, guys, so we just left the Danbury Police Department. We're here at Danbury City Hall again to accomplish our original mission was to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right here. So we're back here. Looks like the uh, security guard that he uh, assaulted me is here, chumming it up with the sergeant here. So uh, must be a friend. Hopefully that doesn't uh, prevent the Danbury PD from doing their job. But uh, let's go in, see what he's got to, uh, see he got anything to say about his actions. Because the warrant's been submitted to the state's attorney's office here, so. I, I don't need any help, sir. How you doing? So this is our first time they're allowing us to come upstairs and walk 
around in City Hall, which I should have been allowed to do from the get-go. But, uh, you know, everybody learns eventually. This is the gentleman that's going to be arrested and hopefully fired for his uh, egregious actions here today. Security guard, Phil. The footage I just saw about three seconds ago, and for the record, I am at the 227 mark on the curve file. Well, do you recognize where the cameras were off the side of We didn't see the ball. We wanted to do one. No, I recognize uh, the second floor, I believe it was the, near the tax collector's office. Okay. And that's where the, is that where the camera appears to pan? Yes. Okay, where is this, for the record again, is at the 252 mark on the file of the phase off hall. What is this office here? What's the period of view? That appears to be the office of the town clerk. And obviously you're familiar with it having worked there how many years? 35 years. You can't film in here. No, You're not no, allowed to film over the counter. Okay, so I, can, I can film in here. I can. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, yes, I can. No, you can't. Why? What is so hard? But what is so hard for you guys to understand that I'm allowed to film in public? You're not allowed to. Film I don't understand. I'm not here being unreasonable. You are. I can film people and customers. You might want to get the attorney back down here. All right, you do that. No, you. The gentleman is leaning up against the counter. When, when, you, when, when you need it. Mr. Reyes walks in, and someone says, the first person says you can't film in here. Is that the security guard or is that that person in the blue shirt with hands on the counter? I, I believe it's the security guard. I'd have to hear it again. I was, I was taking I, but it. I, it's just no distinction on that. Sorry, no, I'm just curious. Who, who, do, we, do we know who that was? Is that person, is that person of any import here? Um, if I can ask me, what is that? Do you know who that person is by chance? I don't recognize the person because I'm just a member of the board. Okay. That, when I heard, I heard off camera, first person to say you can't film here. I didn't know who it was him or the car. Uh, let me ask a follow-up based on the course inquiry. The person that said no, you can't, do you recognize the voice? Do you want to hear it again? Uh, I would like to hear it again. I didn't immediately recognize it. Okay. If you, if you can't identify, it's fine. I just was curious as to if that was which one of the gentlemen said it. He turns, he's turning right, that's when I saw it. It's, it's, just, it's hard to play it back exactly. How did that last relationship we can't? You can't, you can't film in here. No, You're not allowed no, to film no, over the counter. Okay, so no, I, can, I can film. I recognize the voice. The voice should be, is it Janissa? Yes. Film in here. I can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, yes, I can. No, you can't. Why? What is so hard? But what is so hard for you guys to understand that I'm allowed to film in public? You're not allowed to. I don't understand. I'm not here being unreasonable. You are. I can film people and customers. You might want to get the attorney back down here. All right, you do that. No, you can do that. I don't need to. I know what I'm doing is right. I wouldn't get any more trouble than you're already in. Buddy, you're really forcing the envelope. No, you know, I wouldn't you get any told, more trouble. You can film the walls. You can film the hallways. I can film anywhere no, in public. No, you're not. You cannot come in a department, disrupt it, and film over the counter. I'm not disrupting counter. anything. You're filming over the counter. And you're not allowed to do that. I'm, I'm allowed to film no, anywhere not. I can no, see from not. public. Yes, you're I can. You're not allowed to come in a department and film over the counter. Phil, listen. Sean, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't, don't want to get involved. You don't want to get involved yeah, in things that you, you're, you're already. Into. You know what? I don't care. You're not going to do it you're on ready? my watch. That's fine. You're not going to do your it on my watch. watch. You're not going to be working I don't here care. very That's long. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to. I don't got care. Got a couple more days That's at fine. most. Who cares? 
I don't care. The, warrant, the warrant's been sent. You're good. The warrant's You're not going to film. You're not going to film You're going to want to surrender yourself You're not going to film in here. Okay. You're not allowed to. We were told by the officers. You're not allowed to come into the department. No, I was not. Them. You're not allowed to film over the counter. I can film wherever no, I'd like not. in well, public. You're not gonna. You're yes, not gonna. I am. I am right now. Oh, no, you're not. I'm going to block you. you. I mean, you can do that That's if you'd fine. like. You can do whatever you'd like. You could just keep getting in my way. Keep keep uh, representing Allied That's Universal in the fine. city of Danbury the way you are. That's fine. You were told you're not allowed to come into a department and film over the counter. That's wrong information. Just because you got wrong information doesn't make it true, right? So that you, just because you're getting bad information, you know, save you're a security it, guard. You're supposed to observe it, and report. You do, you're not supposed to put your you hands on me. All you are is an instigator. You got in my face. All I didn't you are is an face. instigator. Lie. All you are is an lie. instigator and like to start you're trouble. You're a liar. You need to get a life and a nope. job. You need, That's fine. You need That's to fine. get another job. That's, That's what you need. That's fine. You That's better fine. find another That's job. That's fine. You better find another job. Yeah, don't touch me. And don't touch, touch my camera. You're not going to film in here. Don't touch me. You're don't touch my camera. You are not allowed to film people. So why, so, so, so why don't you call Danbury Police Department and have me arrested we for... for but there was another voice that said you're not allowed to film in here. Do you recognize that voice? In the back? Yeah. Do you recognize that voice? 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 Yeah. Filming. We don't want to bother them again with your nonsense. Oh, okay. Okay. So, because you know it's not true. It's just not true. No, you guys. It's true. It's not. And I'm asking you to get out in the hallway. I'm, I'm not going to leave. Let me stop there. For the record, we're at the 518 mark. The woman in the on the video where I just uh, hit the pause button. Do you recognize her? Yes. And how do you recognize her? Uh, she's the top clerk of the city, Dennis Kigler. That's what just who you just identified a few moments ago. Yes. In, in terms of her voice. Yes. Because I have, I have a right to do it. No, not, not trying to be difficult. Or I, people. I do. This is public. Right. Nobody has no, an. I, can I explain to you why? Because nobody has an expectation of privacy in public. That's you law. You can have the four walls. You can film the walls of the building. That's what he was told. You can film no. to the counter. But that's wrong information. Cannot. No, it is. Unfortunately, You're it's mistaken. wrong. No, you this is what know. I. This is what I do, man. I know. This, this is, is what I do. You disrupt that's people. No, no, no. That's that's my job. job. My job Disrupting is to expose tyrants like you. Not a tyrant. That's my job. Very well. That's my job. Need my job is to expose Sir, people like you. You cannot disrupt my office. I'm not. You are disrupting my office. He is my disrupting my office. office. No, you are disrupting my office because you're not supposed to film the people in my office. I can film so in. I that. can film in the public area. So you can leave and go outside. Okay, outside, I'm conducting sir. business. I need to get FOIA. I need. Business. I need to. I need FOIA requests. I need FOIA request forms. I need FOIA requests. Don't request. have FOIA request forms. At the town clerk, you don't have FOIA request forms. No, you write them. You send me a letter on your letter. letter. You have FOIA request forms, I don't ma'am. Have FOIA request yes, you do. Done. You need no, to get. Sir, you need to get out. your hands off. You need to get your hands off me. You need to get your hands off me. You can if you'd like, because they're going to tell you you're wrong, ma'am. That's why. Listen, man, you got to stop. You just got to stop. It's not worth it. He's just what? doing his job. He's not doing his job. This is not your job. Your job is not to do this. Your job as a security guard is to observe and report. That's your job. Okay, outside. Your job is not I'll to talk to people. Your breath washing, making it. Yeah, Come I know. On. Outside, sir. I know. Listen, I'm asking you to get out. My you're not going. Since you're not going to hear stop. You're not listening to what she's telling you. Stop. You cannot stop. film over the counter. I'm not Can you get that through anymore. your head? I'm not going to talk to you. That's fine. You're you not. You're not going to film. You're, you're against the regulations, sir. Am. You're wrong, unfortunately. No, you're wrong. Unfortunately for you, you're wrong. We got the regulations. You're wrong. I'm sorry. But you can't film employees I'm trying to conduct business. I need, I need FOIA request forms. I, I also don't need, have FOIA request forms. I also People need to know I, what services you offer here at the town hall. What services do you offer to the public here? Go to go to uh, Dam cityofdamray.com. Ma'am, I should. You're refusing service to me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm trying to ask you a question as a public servant. No. What are, are you, you recording? Are you? I am recording. Vital? What are you going to record? I'm recording everything. No, a physical document. We record document. We're like a library. We record documents. Okay. If, are you here for a birth certificate? I'm here. I'm here to submit a FOIA request. I don't have a computer, ma'am. You then you have to write a letter to us and request what true. you want. It is so. That is not true. It I'll, is so. I would like to speak to supervisor. Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? All right, out in the hallway. Yeah. No, out in the hallway. Dude, you need to stop. No. You need to stop. Phil, I'll get him. Uh, you need to stop. Just stop it. Just stop what you're doing. Please no. stop what you're doing. We're it's not no it's, it's not leave. necessary. This is not necessary. Yes it is. I'm not a threat to you 
You know that. You're I've an been here. I've, I'm an annoyance. You're an annoyance. You're an annoyance. You're an annoyance. That's what you are. You're an annoyance. Once you get a life and get a real job, you're an annoyance instead of going around and busting people's chops, you're and, an annoyance and, and, and a tyrant. And, and disrupting everything. Stop touching you're me. You're not coming in here. Stop I'm not touching you. Stop touching leaning me. on me, buddy. Stop touching Stop me. Stop leaning Sir, on me. Get out. Stop touching me. Politely. I'm not leaving, ma'am. Well, you're you're filming against. The rules. You're told you're not supposed to film. And Stop you're it. disrupting. Stop it. Stop it. I'm Stop telling it. you for the last Stop time, it. you cannot Alex. film Stop over it. the counter. Stop it. Can Tell, I can film anywhere that is publicly accessible, but Mr. Attorney. Okay, at this point, this is you obviously in the video, right? Yes. Yes. And then you come down to see the, what was going on? Yes. Judge, may I just ask counsel what time you mm -hmm. um, I have eight. 46. Thanks for looking at the 846. You've stopped the video. I, that's it's fine. Four, it's 428, 429. This might be an appropriate time to then break for the day. Uh, Sir, I'm going to remind you that you're still under oath. Tomorrow we'll resume. We'll resume with our witness back on the stand. We'll continue our attorney examiner's direct examination to where we left off. Um, if uh, counsel wants to see me tomorrow before we begin on uh, whatever uh, issue that I want to put forward, uh, we can meet just briefly to maximize time out here. Thank you, Judge. So, uh, so we're going to shoot for 2 p.m. tomorrow with counsel, 2.15 to begin. That helps you, sir, uh, with uh, your setup. Thank you. Uh, we'll, we're at the mercy of how the back it goes, but we'll do what we do. We say this. All right, we're going to adjourn.